so my name is Nicholas Lyoto and I'm the Director of Hardware Engineering. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about Drive Mod Kit. Drive Mod Kit is something that we've been working on with one of our vehicle partners, Columbia. It integrates all of our sensor packages together into one thing that's calibrated offline and then brought to the vehicle. A lot of autonomous vehicles need to have engineers, software engineers, need to have people, technicians who can go and install it. The kit is designed so that it can just be bolted on, run a simple script, and then it's ready to go. So any technician or anybody who's already working on vehicles can install it and doesn't need a special set of skills. Um, that's going to really help us scale and be able to go and deploy these in manufacturing facilities where the work, workforce is already there who's maintaining these vehicles that can easily get this drive mod kit on. So there's a couple features. Um, the one most forward facing the customer are the lights. And one of the key things there is for it to communicate to the world so that everybody knows what is happening within the vehicle. And so with that, we're able to control the LEDs and then make them, if somebody wants a custom setting because they have a custom application, we can change those and still be able to communicate with everybody in a safe environment. It also be able to say in an emergency situation, if somebody something happens in the facility, we can shut it down and the lights will indicate that the vehicle is off, no longer in autonomous mode. There's a couple things that I'm really excited about in the Drive Mod Kit. One is I think we're really taking a practical approach to this problem. I think in a lot of spaces in the autonomous vehicles where the solutions are still pretty far out and there's a lot of red tape and things that have to be solved. Where I think right now we have something that's able to be deployed, we continue to work on it, we continue to improve it, and we can make it better while also serving, uh, making a service for the customers. And one of the things with this experience is we didn't start off with the drive mod kit, we started off with hacking a stock chaser. And after working with the customer and working with Columbia and and really understanding what we needed to do for the retrofit, we were able to come up with a pretty concise solution. And I'm really proud of that and the way the team has worked through those things. And it's, it's also really nice because as we start working on our new vehicles and the next vehicles that are coming, we're taking the same drive mod kit and the same hardware and repackaging it for the new vehicles. So we're not starting from zero. We already have a leg up. And I think one of the things that's really nice is being able to bolt on these um, drive mod kits is you're able to keep the hardware the same, change the integration, and then be able to bring these kits up very quickly with the same software. 